everyone, so today's video is going to be a crafty one. I thought I would decorate some holiday cups. Initially, I was just going to do one Starbucks cup, but then I went to Starbucks and they gave me this red cup when I was expecting the white one. I didn't really know what to do. So then I saw on the side where they have this tank of hot water, they had a stack of smaller cups next to it, so I took one of those. I don't have a lid for it though, but it'll do the trick. And then I decided to also pick up a Tim Hortons cup, so what was going to be one cup turned into three cups for this video. So. Anyway, let's get started. So many cups, oh my. So starting with the white one, because this is what my original idea was for this video. When I saw this pattern, I already knew what I wanted to do with it. It's probably been done before. I did think of the idea myself, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if someone else has already done it. There are so many amazing crafting videos on YouTube. I feel like they've all been done. <laughs> after drawing all around the cup I colored in some areas in red and green so it matched the design that was originally on the cup. I made sure not to color in any areas that I was going to cut out later. So the next step is to start the cutting. I took an X-Acto knife and cut out different shapes from the cup. Be very careful with this because you do not want to stab your hand and it's hard because you need to stabilize the cup with your other hand. Just make sure you don't poke yourself or anything, okay? I managed to get through this without injuring myself, which is kind of a miracle. <laughs> Next, grab some fairy lights or even a fake candle like a battery operated one and stick it inside your cup. And look at that, it's like a little lit up decoration thing. Oh, how cute. Next up is the Tim Hortons cup and I thought I would do something similar where I cut out some of the cup and then put a light inside. But for this one, I decided to just cut out the lettering for Tim Hortons. The cup gets super delicate and so this was very difficult and I was very close to cutting myself many times. I had to rely on my scissors a lot for this one because there were times I couldn't pierce through the cup without tearing everything. So I definitely recommend a combination of the knife and scissors. Because of how weak it was, I decided to take some plastic. I think this came from the packaging of a Funko or something. <laughs> and I cut a piece off and glued it inside the cup. And not only is that to stabilize the lettering, it's also so I can glue back on the middle of the O's and the middle of the H. I just used a regular glue stick, slathered that on and put the plastic in. And I also taped down the edge of the plastic so it wouldn't slide on me before it dried. It just makes it a little more stable. Then I use my knife to poke back in any white bits that got pushed forward by the plastic. There are also little globs of glue that got pushed forward, so I just scooped those off and made it a little cleaner. Here I'm gluing the middles of the O's back on and the middle of the H. And that's how it looks. Ooh, oh my, so nice. I had this little coupon next to me and I thought that was a good measuring tool to measure out the size of the drawing on the back of the cup because I thought the cup looked like a sock monkey. I mean, it looks like a sock and of course, sock monkeys look like socks, but that was the first thing that came to my mind was sock monkey. So I wanted to do a drawing of a sock monkey on the back. I just drew him on some cardstock and then use Sharpies to color him in and then use some E6000 glue to glue him on. For his ears, I wanted the ears to be part of the cup because I wanted to incorporate the cup a little bit more into this. You can totally just draw the ears on the monkey and glue it down, that's fine too. But I wanted to cut it out with a cup. So I used the Sharpie to draw the ears and then I cut along the ears. And then I pulled the tabs forward, trimmed them up a bit, and then I drew along the edge just so that the white edge wouldn't be so noticeable. It just makes it look a little more polished, a little more finished. So 
So there he is, there's our little stuck monkey. And then I put the lights inside, put the lid back on, and there it is. And if you want the Tim Horton side showing and you don't want the monkey ears sticking out, you can actually just pop them back in, so yay. Now for the last cup, this is going to be the kind of boring, not so pretty looking one, but it's one that's really quick in case you don't really want to take the time to do one of the other two designs. You can just take a cup, I cut a heart out of the middle, you don't even have to do that if you want, but just poke a bunch of holes in it. I would pierce it with the knife and then just twist it, and that would make a lot of little fuzzies pop up as you can see, and so I had to clean that up. So what I did was I would pinch at it a little bit so the fuzzies work like I pulled the fuzzies into the hole pretty much and then I used a pencil to push the fuzzies back through the hole it would just make it look a little cleaner ideally you would use a hole punch but hole punches can't reach that far they can't reach all the way down the cup unless for some reason there is some kind of super long hole punch that exists in that case use that but I didn't have anything like that so I just used the knife and the pencil I also colored the edges with the red sharpie so that it looked a little cleaner And there you have it. There is that simple one. It's like the ugly sibling that wasn't meant to be part of this video. <laughs> so there's my little holiday coffee cup crafty thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day of Artie Advent.